Welcome back and let's talk about expected profits on the Kryptonite V7 algorithm which will be used for Monero mining when the hard fork happens. And the hard fork for Monero is scheduled on April 6th, so that is in two days. So we should find out pretty soon if I will be right right now or if I will be pretty wrong. So before the April 6th we will also have one day before that APBC coin which will be changing to the Kryptonite V7 algorithm and then on April 16th we will have Graft coin also changing to Kryptonite V7 and some more coins like Leviar coin and Intense coin. So Kryptonite V7 algorithm looks like it's getting a lot of the popularity and hopefully all of the coins that are currently on the Kryptonite algorithm will switch to the Kryptonite V7 so those ASIC machines will be practically useless and they will probably be able to mine only Kryptonite coins that won't switch and those coins are probably dead. So let's take a look at how much profits can we expect from the Kryptonite V7 algorithm on the Nvidia and on the AMD cards. So right now if you go to nice hash uh, miner and you look at Kryptonite profitability you can see that you get a little bit less than 8000 satoshis per GTX 180 Ti and that is really really bad because you can get just by mining Ethereum double that amount. And how much can we expect when the algorithm switching happens? For that we have to take a look at some coins that are already ASIC resistant and that don't get affected by those ASIC machines that have probably been mining for months now. So one of those coins is Vertcoin and Vertcoin is as I said ASIC resistant and you can see the difficulty of that Vertcoin didn't actually change a lot. It was about 42 to 45,000 in the middle of December, but right now you can still see it is about 40 to 45,000. So you can see the difficulty didn't go up a lot in the last four months, or probably nothing at all. And that was because those ASIC machines couldn't mine that coin. And this should be the case with Monero, but if you take a look at the Monero chart, you can see that from the middle of December the difficulty was 45 billion, and right now today it is at about 120 billion so that is 200 percent rise in the difficulty and all of that difficulty is most likely just by ASIC machines because it should stay about the same compared to Vercoin that is ASIC resistant but that didn't happen and difficulty went up 200 percent and this is probably where those ASIC machines started mining since it has been noted that they already have those ASIC machines developed but they still didn't decide to sell them because they were making like almost $10,000 per one month just by mining Monero. And this is really worrying and hopefully this hard fork on April 6th in just two days will fix all of that. So if difficulty went up 200% so that means that difficulty should drop by about 66% to stay the same as it was 4 months ago. And that means that we can expect 200% more profits just by mining Kryptonite V7 compared to mining on the Kryptonite algorithm. So if you're getting about 8000 Satoshis per GTX 180 Ti on the Kryptonite algorithm, that would mean that we can expect about 24,000 Satoshis per one GTX 180 Ti. And the most profitable thing to mine right now is Lira 2 Revision 2, which is actually Vertcoin, which is giving 22.7 thousand Satoshis. So uh, this uh, Kryptonite V7 algorithm should be the most profitable, at least in the beginning of mining, when not a lot of the new people have switched to Kryptonite V7 and when they still don't know how to mine that and all that. But the more interesting thing is not Nvidia, it is actually AMD. And if you take a look at Vega 64 four cards on whattomine.com, you can see that the second most profitable algorithm is Kryptonite. And Kryptonite is making you $1.55 minus the electricity cost. And if AMD cards should also get 200% boost, because if difficulty drops 66%, you should be mining 200% more. That would mean that your AMD cards like Vega 64 should get you about four and a half dollars before electricity cost. And this will be huge because in yesterday's video, which I made, I told you that Vega 56 and 64 cards have the longest return on investment time of any GPU. 
and that is really strange to see because those cards were for a long time the most profitable cards and you couldn't even buy one of them. They were sold out months in advance and they were going like in cargo ships and in planes and everywhere and people were buying them like crazy, they were, they were sold in like millions of uh, copies. So. If this happens again and Kryptonite V7 becomes so hugely profitable that you get four and a half dollars per one Vega 64 card, I think that mining will get a huge boost again and hopefully the prices for Monero will go up because people will learn about Monero and they will start mining it. And when you start mining some coin and you don't know what that Kryptonite V7 actually is and then you learn about it and you find out that is actually Monero and if Monero goes up in price and you can see right here that currently it is $186. And if that price just doubles, which is which is a lot, which, that's a lot to expect from coin to double, but we have seen that before that prices can double in a week or two, that would mean that you wouldn't be getting like four and a half dollars, you would be getting like nine dollars per day per Vegas 64 card. And then the AMD cards will obliterate Nvidia in mining again. And that is not a good thing for me. I am only on 14 Nvidia cards and I don't have any AMD cards, but it will be really interesting to see on April 6th what happens with Kryptonite V7 profitability. I expect about four and a half dollars per Vega 64 card and let's just see how much Vega 56 card will be making. It should be about four and a half dollars just like Vega 64 cards because you can overclock the 56 to almost the same clocks as 64. They are almost the same card, they just have a little differences so this is to be expected. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the profitability in the Kryptonite V7, how much you think it will be. So my take is 200% more profitable than the, than the Kryptonite currently is. And we will see if I was right in two days. See you soon in another video and bye.